Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're starting a new series. And this is the series called Edit of the Week. Quick rundown if you're brand new and you didn't see my announcement video. Basically, I'm gonna be editing one photo every week. I'll be able to explain to you why I edit it, and then at the end, I'll be able to show you exactly the final product of the edit. And as well, if I use a preset, then you guys can see it too. And also, happy Valentine's Day, I guess. So, Today, while I'm munching on cookies, one picture that I decided to use for today's first edit. So this is one of the basketball photos. I've edited every other picture in the album, but this is the first picture I'll be editing. Well, the last picture I'll be editing, and I'll be using this picture because I, I, I personally like the composition the most. And yeah, let's hop right in. All right. So now we're here. I don't know. You can't see it. Can't, can't, why? It doesn't want to show the media. Are you serious? All right, guys, hold on. After some trials and tribulations, I fixed it. Anyways. All right, guys, so to start off the edit, uh, let's talk about our white balance, which, I mean, it's all right. I mean, the camera did a pretty decent job, but I typically like having my temperatures, like, stay relatively default to whatever the auto white balance is. Typically I don't mess with it, but you can use the eyedropper and click on the whitest thing in order to get the right white balance. But I like my tint at plus 27 for the most part. I have this more purplish looking kind of tint and then the temp pulled down more towards the bluish. Let's talk about our tone. And uh, we're gonna first start off with saying exposure don't really play around too much with this because especially since this picture i was at 12,800 iso so if i would increase the exposure then it gets really bright and then you start getting these like ugly grain like popping in so what i'd recommend is keep it default and then play around with primarily the highlight shadows and whites and blacks so for this picture what I did with the rest of the pictures, I had the highlight set up to 10. So, I mean, you could type it, but you can also use the sliders. I also have the shadow set to 35. And the reason why I like having the shadows a little bit brighter is that it's not too dark. And when adjusting like the shadows and the whites, you have it so that it's more contrasty without having to use the contrast bar. And then for the blacks, I like having that also negative along with the whites, just a little bit shy of like negative 15. So now you have a little bit of a more contrasty picture. If you see before, if I do this before and after, we have a slight amount more bit of contrast compared to the original image, which is nice. For texture and clarity, I personally set this a little bit up so that you have more texture in the image along with the clarity because sometimes the camera doesn't pick up details as good as i want it to so now you see here if i show you before and after there's a little bit more clarity on cam's clothing and also if you zoom out it looks a little bit brighter in the image you can see more details especially in the floor as well and as we move down the chain of stuff i didn't really touch the curve for the basketball photos and if we scroll down color mixer so th this is where things could get like more creative as you like make uh or edit different kinds of photos this changes depending on like a preset you're using etc etc let's start off with the hues and for my basketball presets typically for the hues i like punching the reds more towards like this oranges kind of tint so i kind of have it at like plus 40 and i like punching the orange in, so i'll have this like at like minus 15 here but not too much i don't want it to be orangey orangey but i like it having this like bluish orange kind of color kind of to it so let's also shift the yellow down to like 25 and then the green, as I said, I like having to push more of that yellowish orange color. So I'm going to shove this down all the way to negative 45. Aqua, I would have plus 10. 
and now you can already see that the purple is starting to pop more i never really touched the rest for the hues but if you look at the before and after already you can see that the orange this this yellow this yellowish orange is starting to pop more and top of that the purple is also starting to pop more <clears throat> in the image same thing with the background as well on the floor like it looks kind of bland looks really brown now it has this like cool like like reddish hue to it and then that's what i'm trying to target here for this kind of style of picture and but now we're gonna go to saturation you might have saw saturation before up at presence but the reason why we won't touch that is because if you use the saturation here they'll saturate all the colors in the image but i don't want that i want to saturate only particular colors and as i said before i'm pushing the reds and the oranges so what i want to do is i'm going to put the orange and reds at like plus 40 and the orange at plus 40. and already you already can tell the difference because of just pushing the orange and the reds now if i do this again you can see that they're really pushing this reddish you even more along with the orange tint kind of color that i'm trying to go for in this picture and already you can already see the difference from the before and the after as well now unlike just similar to before with the yellow and green we're also going to cut down the saturation because we want it to have this more as i said before the the orange look so we're going to pull down both the yellow and the green for yellow we're going to go down to negative 20 and the green, we're really pulling it down because we don't really want the green hue in here. It's It'll get the background just a little bit. It'll make the the gray on the wall slightly green if we increase it, as you see. If we increase it, it gets green. So what we're going to do is to make it not happen or look like that, we're going to cut the green down to like negative 50. And all of these you could play around with as you like get more creative with your photos because things like this, you can do whatever you want when you edit photos but this is i'm basing this off the presets that i currently use for specifically sports photography in this um environment in our gymnasium at my school let's go to the aqua color which here we increase by plus 10 and i'm gonna do that as well actually scratch that i'm gonna keep aqua here i'm gonna increase the blue to like plus 15. so plus 40 plus 40 negative 20 negative 50 and then we have a plus 15. if you look at our current photo we have this is really dull the colors aren't popping as much as i wanted to from in camera color which don't get me wrong if you post it just as is i mean it's fine but as soon as you add a little bit of hue and saturation the difference is clear you can see that skin tones also begin to pop more and even the background like obviously because there's bokeh bokeh you can't really see the background well but look at the colors of the yellow on the shirts of the uh the girls here it has this like weird pea looking color but then as soon as you pop this on it looks less peeish but it looks more goldish but light gold if you if you get what i'm saying right now the colors just pop more especially the purple the purple looks almost the same but it's more contrasty with the image as we keep going down uh we're gonna talk about luminance luminance it's like kind of like how bright like the colors get like for example if i go to the orange right if i go to the luminance all the way down you see how like the brightness of this color changes as you adjust it they, they also adjust every like whatever the program recognizes as like slightly orange it'll zone it down like, like i don't know what happened to him but now he looks like i don't know let's go to luminance and we're, we're gonna cut down on the red just a little bit it's completely opposite of what i've been doing while i've been pushing the reds more now i'm gonna cut it down so it's not bright but it exists if you get what i'm saying so we're gonna go down to negative 20. orange we're gonna add up to plus 30. then yellow we're gonna cut down to negative 30. so we should have like a negative 20 plus 30 and a negative 30 and now the image is already starting to come together color wise it's coming together it's coming to the way i want it to come out and then i really didn't touch the luminance of the other colors because a lot of it was already adjusted here so i don't think i need to adjust the, like the brightness of the greens because there's not a lot of greens here not a lot of blues i only push the blue in saturation so that the slight tint of blue on the purple pops a little bit more. 
because that's more like a bluish indigo kind of color instead of a hard purple and as we go down we have our color grading our dials if you will if you use video editors so here i have it so it's in the center for the most part i don't really touch the the mid-tones and the shadows too much but i do push it a little bit a slightly under like maybe uh the luminance specifically i adjust it down negative 20 but all i also drag this down as well to 11 highlights i don't really touch too much but now that i drag the mid-tones and the highlights on like the skin is definitely looking a lot better from than before i mean it looks fine in this image right now but as soon as we pop the color it, it looks more colorful and looks more realistic to it as if you were there in person and then the shadows i drop the shadows just a little bit so that all these dark spots they're not too dark and after that all i really do is the detail and additionally with the noise reduction because there's a little bit of noise here that i don't really like or want in the image so i'm going to adjust that after so let's start off with detail detail i kept at like 40 1.0 25 and zero then with lightroom there is this ai denoise feature which i do love but because i don't have a quick cpu or a gpu that is four, almost four years old it takes a little bit of time to noise reduct and to save time on the noise reduction part i always do manual where i would have the luminance on about 40 but it's not high but it's also not low either so at this point if you sell the difference if we undo it and do it already you could see that cam skin is way smoother less grainy in the image looks kind of cartoonish this is where you play around with it like the luminance you can play around with you can have it more grainy or less grainy i think this is od if you go to 100 or above 50 it's too much but i keep mine around like 40 ish 35 ish and then with the detail obviously because you don't want the skin to look baby skin or soft you crank that up to 100 so that you get your details back as if you didn't have the noise reduction color i don't really touch that stays default detail i don't really touch here as well and the smoothness i don't really touch the only thing i really touch is how much noise reduction is being applied through luminance and how much detail comes through and after that i really don't really touch anything else lens correction that's automatic that should come with based on your camera and yeah, this is the final product of this picture that is probably going to be cover picture for the Instagram post for the album. And this is the before. And here is the after. So basically, drastic difference from the before. Lots of grain, the colors a little bit bland, despite the fact that there's a lot of orange, orange yellowish, a lot of everywhere. And this purple, not a lot of contrast. But once we apply the change colors are popping more it looks a lot smoother less grain than before if you pull it here a lot of grain less grain before the details are maintained because of the noise reduction that we did at the bottom the manual noise reduction and yeah lastly what i always do is reframe the cam here is not in the center what i do is i slightly crop in and this is why you always like shoot wider than you think you need to because it's better to adjust in post than it is to like not be able to crop out at all so cam is down the center and i like it this way i mean you could uh, also do it differently where you kind of have them off center and we show more of our defender here which is not bad actually i might align it so that see here i'm aligning with the shoulder knee his joint up here and also lines with his foot. This actually might be a great composition if I were to stop right here. Whereas he's almost lining up with the rule of thirds on the left side, but it's not. He's still in the center section of the image, but he's his arm and all the way down to his foot. There's that line going right through it. So it's perfect. And I think this is the photo and I'll leave it as that. And if you want this preset, it is called the Edison Energy City Basketball. So if I look, all I did here, it's slightly more contrasting because it's darker. But here, this is just a basic edit of the photo. But if we use the preset that I'm about to show you, 
it, it barely looks any different as you can see just a little bit more contrasting slightly darker so if we apply that real quick now we have my finished image this gives you a general idea if you look if we undo it this is just a slightly brighter image but if you compare it to the sydney basketball preset that i use on all my photos it's pretty close it's actually pretty close so but for the final photo i'll be using my preset and if you guys want this preset i will create a download link for you guys and uh you can just get the download link i think via email i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet but i'll figure it out and if you guys want this preset you guys can go download it for free i'm gonna make all my presets for free as you can see i have a lot on the side here so uh yeah that concludes the first episode of edit of the week hopefully you guys enjoy i don't know how i'm gonna make this into like a vertical format well for horizontal format this is how it's gonna look like but yeah this is basically the first episode there's gonna be a lot of things that i'm gonna have to revamp because it's not scripted i'm just kind of going off of a whim trying to figure out how to kind of explain but also edit it off my brain and personal preferences that i have and remember these are things that you can always change you can take my preset and then easily change stuff around you don't even have to call it Sydney basketball i just call it Sydney basketball because i use this specific preset for the this environment because every environment is different you might have to for example I don't know change the white balance based on the color you might have to use a dropper and click on something that's white or if you scroll down you might even have to change the different saturations luminance and hues to match whatever kind of look you're going for typically this section alone gives you that look so if it was video editing it would be your color space transform basically it would be your basics these are your basics your highlights your shadows your whites and your blacks and then after that, once you come here, these are this is the look you want. This will give you all the potential colors that you want. You'll be able to express the colors in your photos in different ways using these sliders. And then on top of that, the, the color grading section with the mid tone shadows and highlights. That also can be adjusted depending on what kind of like shadows do you want. You want a, a more like different kind of color. I like keeping my neutral on white because I don't like really touching the midtones too much in the shadows and the highlights. Video editing, though, different story. But for photos, I like keeping them as close as camera shot as possible. So that's why I only use a color mixer. Sometimes I use the tone curve. I barely mask, though. I'm on the process of learning how to mask. So don't worry, guys. I'm on the come up. Just, just wait. Just wait. I'll be learning that too. Don't worry. Don't worry. But anyways. Hopefully you guys liked this first episode. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Go subscribe in the future. Let's not uh, forget that. Okay. I'll be making two forms. I'll make the quick short form version. And this is the pretty much long form version. Where I actually explain everything in depth. But in the short form version. It might be cut up parts of this. Or I might make a completely separate video. Where it's literally just like a two minute long video. And I just like cut the certain parts. Where I'm explaining just the preset. So yeah. Guys, hopefully you like this one. Th don't forget to subscribe. And I said that twice. But anyways, happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to be munching on my cookies now. And I'll see you in a bit. Take care. And adios.